guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my miniature kitchen a makeover. Now the kitchen itself looks great. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just doesn't match my current aesthetic, which is why I'm gonna be giving it a makeover and I'm gonna be showing you guys the whole process. I also bought new miniatures for the kitchen. Everything's like so small and so cute. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I bought. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be amazing. And now without any further ado, let's get right into the makeover. Here is the miniature kitchen. I believe I got this um, back in 2017 or 18. This was a custom made miniature kitchen. It looks beautiful, but I've had it for so long that I wanna change it up. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove everything that I can. So we have like these little miniatures. Um, so I'm just gonna remove those. I'm also going to take out the fridge and stove. Now I'm going to wipe it down so that there's no residue. I'm taping down the kitchen using masking tape. I should have bought painter's tape because honestly, this masking tape kept coming off and it was not a fun time. Anyway, as you can see, I am taping down the counters because I wanna preserve the original color of the counter and you will see later on what I ended up doing. Um, but yeah, for now, we're also gonna tape down the little silver fixtures. I bought this small paint sample from Home Depot and it is in the color white. So wherever there is gray, I'm gonna be painting it white. To be very honest with you guys, I never really liked this gray color. I don't know what I was thinking. And about this white, like honestly, it's a safe choice. I was thinking of painting the kitchen pink. I think it would look really, really nice. Uh, but I got scared and I just ended up getting white. Maybe in the future, I could paint this kitchen pink. I don't know, you guys can let me know in a comment like if you guys have any ideas on what other color this kitchen could be. Once the paint was all dry, I am taking off the tape. We have nice clean lines, very satisfying. So like I was saying, I wanted to preserve the color of the countertops and that's why I ended up buying this vinyl from Amazon. And really all I had to do was measure out the kitchen, cut the vinyl and stick it in place. I will say that these vinyls normally are not very sticky and if you ever are using a vinyl for any project, go ahead and just use a blow dryer on like a high heat and that's going to kind of warm up the glue in the vinyl and make it sticky again. And look, here is where I popped out my blow dryer and I am blow drying the edges to keep it all in place. And that's what I did for all of the pieces. So just doing the same thing a couple of times.
This was the piece that I thought was going to be a bit tricky, but honestly, it wasn't at all. All I had to do was kind of measure out where I wanted to punch a hole for the faucet, and that was it. I'm going to stick it in place, and then I'm just going to cut off any excess, and yeah, it was very simple and easy to do, surprisingly. I printed out this very simple backsplash and I'm going to stick it in place. For the flooring, I ended up using the same exact vinyl and now I'm going to put back my miniature kitchen together. So I'm popping back in the fridge, the counters and the stove. I am so happy with the way the kitchen turned out. It looks so good, it matches my aesthetic. And the best part is that I think it only cost me like $20 to do this whole makeover. Like it was super cheap, very easy, and I had a very fun time. As I was saying in the intro, I did buy new miniatures for the kitchen and I'm very excited to show you guys what I bought. Everything that I'm going to show you is from Real Mini World. I'll have a link for them down below, but they have very cute miniatures that are very good quality. So you can check it out if you are interested. Okay, I think I accidentally missed out a few items from this haul. Um, it's fine though because you guys will eventually see them in my videos. The first thing I picked up is this cute ceramic pot. Then we have a cooking pan. I finally bought a real miniature knife and cutting board. I'm very excited about this purchase. And then we have this very cute wooden tray with tongs. This is a baking pan. We have a mixing bowl and whisk, a measuring cup, a baking tray. This is a miniature cupcake mold. I'm very excited to use this. A rotatable cake stand. We have these three tiny little glasses. I think this is called a strainer. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And then we have a spoon and spatula. This is a little coffee brewing jug. We have this very cute Tupperware set. I'm obsessed with this. It's so small and so cute. And the last thing I picked up was this grater. I wanted to quickly show you guys a before and after of the miniature kitchen. So this was the before and here is the after all set up. I am in love with the kitchen. Please let me know in a comment down below what you guys think. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.